Hi guys, it's me, Donita. I'm going to do a grocery haul. I haven't done one for a while and I thought I would share what I picked up at the grocery store. Um, the first thing I want to do is just share with you my new favorite salad that I'm making, which is like the bomb.com, literally. Um, it's so amazing. I, You guys know that I usually do the Greek salad, but I changed it up a little bit and I really like it. So I just thought that I would share with you what I'm doing. So... Before surgery, I really did not eat greens at all, hardly. And so, I literally eat this whole bag of spinach myself every week. So this, I, I mean, you split this up in six bowls for the week. Done, you know? I did not eat spinach ever before surgery, so. And I really like to mix it up with this, which is argula. And I don't think I'm saying it right. Um, but I've been actually really enjoying this, so I'll put them, mix them up together, these two, for my new salad that I do. So what I've been putting in this salad, let me sit this down. Um, what I've been putting in a salad is tomatoes, and I will get zucchini and put them on my indoor grill, and I cut up the zucchini, and then I fry it up on my grill, season it, let it cool, and I put the zucchini like in cubes in my salad, with me. now this here quit I don't even know how you say it I'll be honest Kiona no I know how to say it but I never say it right anyways you guys know what this is I get this at Aldi's and it's like three bucks it's 130 calories for one cup of this so I will put like a fourth of a cup into my salad after I crisp it up so I put this on my indoor grill too I, I have a thing with textures and flavors so I really like to feel, if this is crunchy when I put it on my salad, I feel like I'm eating something I shouldn't, so I like doing that. I season it really well and crisp it up. So for one fourth, four into 130 is like 30 some calories for a serving of this. If you use one fourth of a cup to put on top of a salad, which is what I do. Love it. Crisp it, I wouldn't just put it on my salad like this though. I crisp it up, season it, that's key. Then I put pine nuts on it. And I have a new love for pine nuts, but they're expensive. Last week I spent like $9 on pine nuts and I'm like, okay, I can't do that again. And I love pine nuts. My husband isn't so impressed with them, but at Kroger's, if you go they have, my Kroger's has a salad bar. If you go there and they don't have pine nuts on the salad bar, but you want pine nuts, I just went to the deli and said, hey, I don't see any pine nuts on the salad bar. I need some, I want some. Pine nuts, and I spent a dollar forty-seven for these. I just they they weigh it like they would a salad. So I'll never buy the big jar of pine nuts for nine dollars again. This is what I will do. A tablespoon of these is fifty calories. I think I think that's right. I'll have to check. I'm almost almost positive that's right. A tablespoon is fifty calories, or approximately something like that. So I'll put that in my salad with fresh basil. For, I'm telling you guys. Fresh seasonings is important to me. Fresh cilantro, fresh basil. I think it makes or breaks a dish. So fresh basil, I throw in there with tomatoes. Um, what else should I put in there? Oh, oh, this, ricotta. Oh my gosh, I have a new love for ricotta cheese. It is so good. Um, this is for a fourth of a cup. I may have given you incorrect information on the pine nuts. Look up the pine nut information because I think I was talking about this. This is 100 calories for a fourth of a cup. So I will use half of a fourth of a cup, I think, and it's like 50 calories for this, but I love ricotta cheese. Love it. Oh, it's so good. It's like soft and I just have like this new love for ricotta cheese. I was putting feta cheese in everything and I've kind of got sick of it for a little bit. I mean, don't take me wrong, I love feta, but I've switched up my salads. And then I drizzle with a balsamic glaze for like 30 calories. I love this salad. I just cannot even tell you how much I love this salad. I really want to emphasize that if you're going to eat something healthy, you need to really make sure it's food that you like. If you don't like it, don't force yourself to eat it. Find an alternative or something that is going to make you stick to your plan because that's going to be key. Just going to be key. Hello, top. I don't even have to tell you guys what this is, right? Because if you want ice cream, this is what you're doing. You know, this whole container is 240 freaking calories. I can sit and eat this whole thing. I don't feel guilty. Before surgery, this thing, 
ice cream this size would have been like what close to a thousand calories depending on what brand you get so birthday cake is my favorite though I will just birthday cake is, is my ultimate favorite um what else can I tell you that I buy these are lifesavers um this brand old extreme wellness now you have to be careful because it, some some of these are 90 calories but this one which is the spinach and herbs is 50 calories for one of these if I want to make um, a generic pizza this one here which is the high fiber low carb 50 calories they do have some that are 90 calories and I flipped out once because I accidentally got it I think the whole wheat is 50 is 90 calories so you really just got to be careful on which one you get um yeah just be careful on which one you buy but these I will cut these up in chips and bake them, put garlic and salt on them, and they'll, they'll be kind of like tortilla chips. And then I will dip them in this guacamole salsa, which is 50 calories, no, 60 calories for two tablespoons of this stuff. I love this stuff. Now this is the hot, this is medium, so it's kind of spicy. If you don't like spicy, you won't like this, but oh, I have a love for this. Yes, I do. Um, Aldi's caramel. Little rice cakes, 50 calories for one. Sometimes I'll put like a tablespoon of peanut butter on these to eat if I want. I really love these pepper jacks from Aldi. They're so like 25 calories for a wedge of cheese. I will stuff mushrooms with these. Um, let me hurry up because I don't think I'm, it's gonna let me record much. Oh, microwave popcorn. Let me just tell you, we don't own a microwave in our house. So what I've learned to do for my kids' lunches is buy things that I can't, I'm not going to eat this. I'm going to put it in his school lunch, he's going to go to school, and he's going to fix it, but I have no way of eating this popcorn, because I don't own a microwave. That's kind of intentional. I don't want a microwave in my house, because then it's just like convenience food. I don't want to go back there. Um, so I, I on purpose buy snacks that I can't eat. I'll, it's, I also still take, take my kids' school lunch snacks, like granola bars and stuff. They go to the car at night. They don't stay in my house. They, if my husband leaves, they go with my husband in the car. They're never here for me to get to. Just something I do for me because I need to. Um, I buy fruits. I can't eat pineapple now. It tears my stomach up. But I do love strawberries. Um, yeah, I'm just going to talk for a minute because I don't have much long. My thing's going to stop recording. I, um, the past three or four months has been the hardest for me. I think I've ate the worst since surgery the past three or four months since Christmas. It started at Thanksgiving. I'm not gaining weight, but I'm not losing. And the reason I'm not losing is because I'm making some bad choices. I'm trying to be good for the most of the part of the time, but it's not easy. Um, if you think that you're going to have this surgery and you're going to just miraculously the honeymoon phase. I didn't believe people. There is a honeymoon phase. Um, there is a honeymoon phase. And for me, it was like probably the first year, year and a half. And then after that, I'm on my own. And what I mean by that is I honestly could have gained back probably 50, 50, 60 pounds by now if I would be making bad choices, if I would be drinking my calories, if I would be drinking pop and eating. I keep my environment clean. I would encourage you to do that. This is going to stop. I will do my next video soon. I Love you guys. Thanks for all the support. My video is going to shut off, so I'll be in touch. Bye. Bye. Adios.